is kindness a form of egoism? I was very curious to know. Sometimes we give toys to our kids who otherwise wouldn't have them. I'm guilty of the same. We load bags with canned foods for our hungry children. We make donations to those who really need it. And sometimes, just sometimes, we let someone crowd ahead of us in a busy store or we smile at instead of fighting with that person or that guy or that girl who grabs the last ice cream cone. Hi, my name is Jyotika Bethi. I'm the founder of Happiness is Love. Often festive time of the year, it seems we focus more on doing good and on being good, don't we? Certainly, that's not a bad thing. But, there is a but. Is all of that kindness sometimes egoic or selfish? Researchers at the University of California, Berkeley say that kindness and related qualities like empathy, sympathy and compassion are actually a form of self-preservation. Those who give more get more. The most generation, generous amongst us have greater influence on us. To put it in 7th grade terms, more popular. Doesn't that happen? Whereas the meanies who are grouchy and unhelpful are more likely to be cast adrift from our cliché. After all, it stands to reason that if I'm paddling your lifeboat, you'd keep me afloat a little longer, wouldn't you? So again, the question really is, is kindness really motivated by our genuine concern, interest for others? Or are we too good, too gooders because it makes us look good and stores up our position in the ecosystem? Probably the answer to this is both. Most of us genuinely enjoy helping others. I do too. It makes us feel good. It makes us feel connected. It makes us feel happy. And it makes for a healthier, more meaningful and satisfactory life. But it doesn't hurt that we also receive other rewards such as recognition, status, cooperation, influence that helps us survive and thrive. So if you're Mr. Nice or Miss Nice, there are bodily benefits as well. Despite all the perks, most people tend towards kindness only when it's convenient to them. That doesn't mean that they have bad manners. They say their pleases. They say their thank yous. However, we could be more kinder more often, couldn't we? Sometimes people are obstructed by just how to do it. Sometimes we are just not thinking enough to be sensitive to the other. And we are not thinking enough about how others may be feeling to recognize the other person's need and want. Sometimes we are plain old selfish. If you see the person next to you giving money, let's say for example, to a homeless person, you might feel the need to do so as you do not want to appear less generous than them. However, this is personal and not necessarily about contributing to someone else's well-being. If someone is asking for your help, for instance, you might accept to help them just because you do not want to seem like a bad person. Isn't this true? This mindset is a result of our societal expectations and how people are really meant to behave. This again reminds us that people are everywhere in chains. Human beings are in constant evolution. Is there a correlation between egoism and altruism? Egoism and altruism are a part of human nature and I believe they cannot exist without each other and although fundamentally opposite, they are extremely close. True altruism is also possible, it provided that it is performed with pure positive intentions. Factors such as culture, environment or genetics can influence our way of thinking and ways of behaving which can make us more or less altruistic. However, 
in a society where freedom of thoughts and freedom of actions are under pressure, we could wonder if genuine altruism really exists today. We need to work to be more aware of those around us, to slow down and move with patience and purpose, to be more kind and compassionate to ourselves and to others. Your acts of kindness don't need to be grandiose or flashy. They don't need to be too expensive. Those things aren't really required for true kindness. You don't have to feel guilty that your kind gesture wasn't as big as the other. Oprah has often said this. Kindness can be a very, very, very small, simple act and still make a ginormous, gigantic impact on the world. It's more a matter of awareness, noticing a small need and then consciously offering a bit of yourself. It's that micro moment on the freeway when you sincerely smile and wave at the guy cutting off of you instead of gesturing in a harsh manner. Here are some other ideas to get you just thinking. Help someone unload, let's say, their groceries from their cart. Drop off a meal to a friend who's had a new baby or has had a loss. Write a small love note to your partner, to your children, maybe to your colleague. Put your neighbor's newspaper on their friend front porch during your morning walk. Look, the checker, bag teller, waiter or others who serve you and look them in the eye and smile and say thank you. If you agree that these small gestures are really the big things and can help boost more kindness, more genuine kindness and more altruism in the world, please comment below. We at Happiness is Love truly believe that each one of us is blessed. Our, our core nature, our human nature is kindness. It is empathy. It is compassion. All we need to do is tap into it. That's all it takes because together we are better. Together we are stronger and together we can build ourselves, each other and a better future. Stay tuned for more. Keep smiling, keep shining and keep spreading more kindness in the world.